Hello everyone and in this video we'll be looking at the history panel so let's get started. Okay so I'm in Photoshop 2022 and uh, over here you can see the history panel is available so I'll show you that what's the meaning of this gray out tool if the history panel is not available over here you can go to the window and you can toggle history from here from the menu okay so what does the history panel means basically history panels is uh, a type of uh, a container which record each and every steps which you perform in Photoshop so over here I have made some brush tools adjustment over here so they I agree out because why because I have backtrack to the original image for example let's close this panel over here and uh, let's create a new layer and create a rectangle or a triangle bring it to in the center so this is a rectangle it's on a new layer and let's draw something from the brush of the same layer okay let's try it and there you go so you can see that i have three strokes over here and one rectangle so if you go back to the history you can see that I have for the move tool, the rectangle tool which I performed, the new layer which I just made in the beginning and the rasterize layer, rasterize layer, I have done this one, this rasterize to rasterize and uh, to, to perform the brush tools and over here I have three brush strokes where you can see the deal. So if I made a mistake and if I think that I need to go back and change something which is not uh, suitable for this image, so what I need to do is Either I can go for Ctrl C which is undo or I can go all the way to the new layer only and all of the newly uh, performed or newly uh, performed task is all gone. But it's not permanently gone. You can see that it's gray out. If you want to bring back each and every one, you can just click on rasterize. So the rectangle will come back or you can click on one brush too. So only two brush will come back. So this is how history works. Even you can use the hotkey which is command z on mac and control z on windows there you go and if if you have draw a rectangle like if i click on move one it come back to the center position and if i want to draw something else after this and i want to make this these maybe i want to overlap this one so what i can do is that i need to go back and draw something else like something like eclipse circle over here if you go back to the history panel you can see that the bridge strokes you made earlier are all gone so this is the difference between if you make something new or on the retract earlier after one move so the preceding one will all go away so it works like this and for example if you want this layer to be the initial layer and you want to start a new document so all you can do is you can go back to history panel and you can go over here and you can click the new document create a new document from current state means this state the eclipse rectangle and the image which is already processed black and white will be the initial state means all this process will not be considered and it will create a new document look there's a new document like eclipse tools eclipse tool and this is considered as a new document. So going back to my original image, over here you can go all the way back and you can clear everything which you have uh, taken steps. So over here you can create a snapshot also. Snapshot is basically, this is your original image and you have created a snapshot so you can work on that particular image by clicking on that you can move it around. Here you can see that I can move the modifications which I have made for this image. So this is how the history panel works. It's easy, you can even delete the history steps from here. And it is basically a container which record each and every steps of Photoshop, every steps which you perform in the Photoshop. 
If you feel this video is informative, like my video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for future videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.